Hey, this is Russ. Yeah, I'm back out on the road again. What's the weather now? Well, straighten out this camera a little bit here for you first. Uh, hopefully that's straight. I can't really tell. <laughs> I can never tell. Well, according to uh, my Amazon, uh, Amazon, what do they call that thing? <laughs> See? Bad memory, I'm telling you. Amazon uh, Echo. There you go. Amazon Echo, the Alexa unit, you know. It said it was 64 degrees. 64 degrees in February. Unheard of. So, anyway, what am I on today? Same bike as last time. I'm on the uh, Engway E26. Yeah, this is a tall bike. Now, I readjusted the camera angle. It's higher up on my chest. And uh, so hopefully you get a little bit better angle this way. I can feel it's higher up. I, I don't know what it really looks like. <laughs> But again, let's let's just hope for the best. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, I'm telling you, the last three videos have had a lot of interaction with you guys um, and comments and the like. I think the last one I said, you know, let's let's not be so political. Don't talk politics. Don't talk religion. Don't talk whatever. I mean, you can mention it, but just don't be so mean about things, right? Yeah, some of you guys couldn't uh, couldn't hold back. <laughs> I mean, there I mean, there's things that um, that were brought up that I, I guess you didn't say Democrat, you didn't say Republican, <laughs> but you know, there's there's uh, issues like uh, gun control that popped up and stuff like that, or uh, controlling the borders. <laughs> Yeah, those are politically motivated topics. Yeah, gotta gotta try to avoid those things. I let most of it go. Uh, I figured you guys could uh, work it out yourselves, as long as you're not mean to each other, you know. But there was a couple of them that uh, I have to say, you were on the edge, man. I was so close to either banning some of you guys or or uh, at least deleting some comments. I think I deleted one or two comments. You know, a lot of the comments that are not uh, so nice, they go into that holding zone automatically. So if you look at it and you don't see, hey, what happened to my comment? And it's not there after you posted it. Yeah, it's probably on the holding zone. Yeah, the YouTube thing automatically will take out stuff. If you swear, if you say controversial things, it'll automatically throw it into a thing where I have to review it before I can uh, let it go through. Now, many of them I let through anyway. But uh, I think there was a couple I had to get rid of. <laughs> so, yeah, just be careful with that kind of stuff. Yeah, I appreciate that if you do. Now, there was still, of course, uh, many comments about the uh, stopping issue. And you know, a couple of you guys said too, really, still the stopping issue? The stopping issue will always come up. So here's what I decided I would do today. We're gonna stop at every stop sign. I kind of give you an idea of what it looks like on video if you were to stop at every stop sign that you see. And of course, the stop will have to be a three second stop. We'll start with this one here. Okay, so if there's a stop sign, this is what it would look like for every single one that we do. Now, there are people in the cross area, so we will stop and let them through. So that is a legitimate stop. But yeah, I have to actually hop off the bike in order to, uh, to do a stop. I can't balance myself for three seconds <laughs> on the bike while still seated, so I have to get off the seat to do it. But we'll stop at every stop sign this time, all right? Okay, and then at the end of this, you can put in the comments if you like the fact that I stopped at every stop sign or if it was irritating and watch me stopping at every stop sign. Some people will also mention that, you know, what you're suggesting to do does break the law. I'm not suggesting anybody to do it. I'm just saying that's what I do. So technically they say, well, you're breaking the law. You're not a good example. I hear that a lot. You're on, you're on YouTube. You should be a better example for people watching your videos. I'm not here to be your example, <laughs> to tell you the truth. That's three seconds or so. I'm not really here to be your example. I'm here to do videos um, of, my, of my ride 
and uh, hopefully I stay safe enough for you. I'll tell you this though, you know, um, when some people were equating my bad example of not stopping at stop signs to, uh, to the things happening in Florida where the woman got hit by an e-bike and then she was killed uh, and not wearing a helmet, um, I don't think my stopping at the stop sign or lack of stopping at stop sign is the equivalent of that. Now, of course, if there was someone there, I didn't stop at the stop sign and ran into them. Yes, of course, that would be the case. But as you know, I look in all directions as I approach any intersection, stop sign or not. And if there's nobody there, I tend to roll through, but I do slow down. I mean, just watch any of the videos and you'll see that, and, and, and you can hear it too in the motor. You can hear it. Uh, slowing down or, or the, the tires, you know, tires actually make more noise than the motor, I think. Um, you'll hear that. So um, I do at least know what's around me <laughs> before moving forward and going through. Some had asked also whether I go ahead and blow off uh, all stop lights, and that's, no, I don't. Every stop light, I always stop at stop lights. But again, I mentioned that, you know, in our area, these are residential streets. There's a lot of stop signs. Yeah, so it would actually mean a lot of stopping. I think on a video too, it doesn't look so good to have to stop all the time. But uh, yeah, we'll do it for, for this video. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> so yeah. Now, I tell you things, um, try to keep you guys safe too. I'm, I mean, it's not like I I'm blatantly blowing things off. And if you take a look at uh, some of the videos from other YouTubers, and many of you have mentioned it too, about some of the younger folks who are riding the Surans and other things, those are things were mentioned a lot. Um, yeah, a lot of them actually don't. Um, they don't follow the rules of the road very well. Maybe worse than me, maybe, huh? Yeah, no, those guys go in packs, almost. They go in like a, a gang of uh, bike riders. <laughs> they'll take over the whole street. Yeah, they'll literally go to the middle of the street, take the whole thing over. Uh, and they record that. Now that's, that's irresponsible. Yeah, but you're a, you're a 65 year old man. You should know better. Yeah, I know better. <laughs> Doesn't mean I want to stop at every single thing. But this is what the videos would look like if we did it. I don't think it makes an engaging video. Now you could also say, well, video or not, that is the law. It's true, it is the law. I never uh, denied that, okay? So, somebody said, you pick and choose which uh, things you like to hear and then you get rid of the ones you don't. Yeah, it's my channel. <laughs> I don't want people to see your negative comments of, uh, of hatred towards me. Why would I want to do that? I mean, I'm human just like everybody else. <laughs> okay, we're going to unsubscribe from Russ's channel. I hope you don't do that, you know, but I guess that's up to you. So anyway, the thing is, is when a car stops at a stop sign, you're still sitting in the car, okay? It doesn't really affect you uh, physically, as you're sitting, that is, when you stop the car. But it does affect the bike rider. He either has to try to teeter-totter and balance for three seconds, or, like in my case, since the saddle's so high up, um, I, I actually have to hop off the bike, then have hop back on and start up again. Now, as you notice too, I, I use my throttle to get me moving. And, uh, but if I didn't have a throttle, you know how hard it is to have to start up and have to pedal that? <laughs> I mean, think about your old regular bikes. What's the hardest time of when you were riding the bike? It was actually starting up from the dead stop, right? Yeah, well, good thing we have a throttle. <laughs> if I didn't have a throttle and had to do that, it would be really tough. So, bad knee, bad leg or not, I don't think it mattered to many of the people who made the negative comments about it. So uh, anyway. <laughs> also, somebody wanted to know if I 
if I ever go on major streets. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do quite a bit. It's just that right now we don't because um, um, typically if I go on the major streets, that means I'm probably going to go farther away. I usually will carry a second battery at that point. These little things, and you know, because it just happens that we have decent weather this time, uh, I don't carry the second battery. I just do the one. I charge up the one. You know, all the batteries are down to 70% levels at this point, and so um, I don't want to charge up the, the spare batteries also because I, I probably won't ride long enough to to uh, bring them both back down to 70%. So I just take the one battery. So that means I got to hang around this general area. And um, now in this case, we had uh, cars in both directions out of a uh, four-way stop. So I would definitely would have stopped regardless for that one. Another thing too, sometimes too, um, you could say, well, you don't have to fully stop. You could kind of slow way, 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 way down, balance as best as you can, hope you don't fall over and then move forward. Yeah, you could do that. But um, this is a tall bike. I, I don't want to chance the balancing and not, uh, and then get, you know, fallen over. Because each time I've fallen over in the past, it's because I stopped and the bike leaned toward my weakened leg. Let's go to the right this time. Uh, whoops, that wasn't, that wasn't a full stop. Oh, that was kind of a stop and roll through. <laughs> Um, so each time that I've fallen has been because of stops. Although some said, that, well, you know, you say that stopping is your most dangerous part. People, people fall because of stops. They don't fall when they're riding. <laughs> You've got forward momentum, you're not going to fall over unless you have really bad balance and you twi twist and fall. Or if you slip out of something, like if you hit an ice patch or something like that. Okay, well an ice patch, as good as a rider you can be, you're going to probably slip on that thing and fall anyway. So it's it has nothing to do with your riding or inability to ride. That's just ice, right? Or something slippery. And now that's, you know, even the best riders will slide out of something like that. So there's the reasons why I don't, I don't actually ride in, in the winter in the, in the snow. Now, I know one of our subscribers, uh, E-Bike Builder, he rides in the snow. <laughs> if you want to see some snow riding, go onto his channel and watch it. Yeah, I think he's had a couple of close calls. <laughs> I haven't watched every video that he produced, but I've watched a number of them. And man, he takes he takes a gamble, man. <laughs> More power to him. So yeah, go check his channel out. Give him some love. Yeah, I watch a lot of your your channels. Not everybody's. Okay, sometimes you guys will mention things. Uh, sometimes I look at it. Sometimes I don't. It depends on time. You know, if I have the time to do it, uh, I may cruise over there and see see what you guys are up to. And even, you know, the, the more established channels too now, which have been around for over a year at least. Yeah, you guys are growing, so that's good. Good to see you guys getting somewhere. Now for me, uh, how's that, my channel doing? Well, when I left this, uh, when I left the house and I took a look at the channel count, I was three shy of 18,000 subscribers. <laughs> Three shy. Then it dropped down to four shy. Yeah. So somebody, uh, somebody unsubscribed. That that happens. You know, you can't uh, you can't keep everybody sometimes. So uh, yeah. So we're either three or four shy of uh, eighteen thousand subscribers now. So thank you very much for that. Hope you stick around and don't leave. But if you leave, you know, I know people do it for whatever reasons. Uh, Sometimes they, they hit subscribe and then as they watch a the channel, they say, yeah, it's really not for me. And then they leave. You know, it happens. I do, I do it too. <laughs> I look at channels and I go, well, it's not really something I will probably watch that much more. So I think I'll unsubscribe. That happens. Hope you don't do that, but it happens. <laughs> I was watching this lady. It says she's watching me stop at the stop sign. She's looking around. She's going... I could see it in her face. There's no cars. Why is he stopping? <laughs> I think in our area, uh, 18, yeah, okay. I was looking at this uh, that uh, radar thing. It said I was doing 18. I was doing about 18. Yeah. So it seems like the uh, speedometer on this anyway is pretty accurate. Um, what were they talking about? The lady. <laughs> the lady was. Yeah, I was looking around. I was like. Uh, 
you know, there's no cars, why is he stopping? But in our area, uh, it's more common to see bike riders blast through stop signs worse than me, okay? At least I try to, I make an effort to at least slow down and look. Some of these guys don't even slow down, they don't look, they just keep going. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's others that are worse than me. It doesn't matter what they do, you should do what you do. Yeah, I know. But still, I'm just, I'm just saying that uh, cars in this area, people walking around in this area, kind of know that most, most of the bikes are going to go through, they got to watch. Now, in your area, maybe not so. I mean, I've had other people say in their area, you know, if you don't watch out, these cars will run you over. Yeah, that's sad, but that's true, right? So I uh, always kind of assume that they're going to run you over. You should try to protect yourself first. It doesn't matter what, uh, what they might or may not do. So, yeah, just protect yourself. That's, that's more important. I think somebody said, too, uh, the delivery trucks are the guys that are probably the worst because they don't see you half the time. Uh, yeah, that one time I had that FedEx truck pull out in front of me. That's only because I was in his blind spot. We already knew that. Many people mentioned, you were in his blind spot. I know, I'm not an idiot, I can see it. <laughs> but the fact is, is that I was coming through, blind spot or not, um, if I didn't watch out for myself, yeah, he probably would've hit me. Whose fault would that be then? And I think that would be FedEx guy would be uh, cited for that more so than me. Although it wouldn't do me any good being in the hospital. <laughs> Gotta have a sense of humor, okay, even in the light of death. <laughs> All right. So what else is going on? Well, still sniffling I, I mean they said it's six but they say it was 64 degrees I sure don't feel like 64 degrees I think it's that wind chill again I mean if we were standing still it wouldn't feel so bad but that's why I still have everything on I have the ear ear pads on that uh, the, the liner on my ex needle helmet I did remember to turn on the blinking thing on the ex needle helmet <laughs> did it before I left the house I have the uh, full finger gloves on I have the uh, winter jacket on, I have a sweatshirt on, long pants, I got the whole thing on. I have, uh, what else do I got? Oh, here's a guy with a safety vest on, on with the bike. Mm -hmm. It's on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, don't ride on the wrong side of the road. Ride on the correct side of the road. That was not the correct side of the road, although he did give me a smile, so good for him. <laughs> now you gotta keep everything on. It's, uh, when the wind blows up against you, it's kinda cold. All right, let's turn. Yeah, there's a lot of cars out this time. I don't know why there's so many cars. What time is it? 111. It's not technically like lunch hour or anything, is it? Where people are out? I don't know what's going on. Some, somebody's cooking something. I smell something good. <laughs> yeah, who's cooking up stuff? Yeah, somebody's cooking something good. Let's check this uh, camera here, make sure it's straight. You know, the camera tends to tilt sometimes. Sorry about that. Sometimes I can't tell, you know, it's, it's mounted on your chest and sometimes it's not uh, level. So anyway, uh, I took the Engway out again because I charged it up. Because the uh, last time we took it, we went a little bit farther than uh, the, the past uh, couple rides that we did in the winter. And so I says, well, since I'm charging it up, I must well just keep charging it up a little bit longer. And we'll just take it out again. Because I knew today, which is the day after the last one that you saw, uh, weather would be decent, I would do it. And this one will be posted on Saturday. So uh, current day right now is Wednesday for me. I usually don't uh, record things that far in advance because then you know, if things happen between Wednesday and Saturday and I want to tell you stuff, well, it won't be into a video until Tuesday. You see what I'm saying? 
So I usually wait until like the day before the video comes out and then I'll record what I am going to record. Uh, so things are fresh. Okay, I, I prefer to have it fresh rather than... Uh... Oh, man. <laughs> rather than uh, um, being behind times and, and the like. All right, you think we had enough of this uh, stopping at stop signs? <laughs> uh, I'm getting tired from getting on and off the bike. Yeah, if I was pedaling, I'd be even more tired. Yeah. Oh, how's the knee doing since, uh, since we're talking about pedaling? Knee's getting better. Yeah, I think that IT band issue has uh, pretty much gone away and kind of healed itself up a little bit. I'm just giving it a couple extra days. I don't want to snap it again and uh, end up with the same problem I did. So. Better to be safe than sorry. I mean, there's plenty of time to, to be able to do the pedaling when riding season starts coming up, so. Dog doing its business. Its business. <laughs> I mean, what else do you call it? I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot of stopping. All right, guys, I am done with the stopping. Put comments below. <laughs> Tell me what you think of the stopping, good or bad. Should we do it all the time? Or should we do at least the rolling stop? Uh, my, my favorite is the rolling stop. And totally stop if something's there, right? Yeah, I, I think, uh, and thank you for whoever it was that said, you know, we don't see everything that Russ is seeing. That's true. You only see the forward view. You don't see that I'm looking. I guess if I had my uh, camera mounted on the top of my helmet, every time I turn my head, you would see that I'm actually looking in all directions. But uh, no, it's mounted on my chest. So as I turn my head, you don't know that. So you don't actually see what I see fully. You only see the forward view. So that would be my preference of stop, okay? It's kind of like, uh, you roll up to the stop sign as you're slowing down, you look around, nothing's there, go. All right? Then you don't have to hop off or anything like that. So that's what I'm going to do going forward. But again, it'll come up again. It's just a matter of time uh, when someone will have to make the mention. And, I and I, like I said, I really hate having to continually talk about that topic, but it is uh, something that people bring up all the time. And if you don't say anything, they just, you know, they just will never watch any of your stuff. You know, the thing is, I think if anyone makes those comments, they're never going to watch that stuff anyways. They already hate you already from the start. <laughs> so they're not going to watch your channel, no matter how often it comes up on their uh, YouTube feed. Yeah, still sniffling. I, I'm telling you, um, 64 degrees or not, <laughs> the wind still makes it feel colder than that. It's making me sniffle all the time. So where are we going to go this year? Well, not really sure where we will end up this year. Last year we did some pretty good rides. You know, we ended up in Wisconsin um, for several days. Mrs. Wright with, was with me. Um, we did some rides at the Fox River Trail. Mrs. Wright was with me. So uh, I mentioned that there's a couple of bikes coming. Uh, we made arrangements with the manufacturers. Uh, send bikes. Uh, one of them is actually going to send us two of them. Yeah, they've got a, they got a model coming out and they want me to show both the step through and the step over version of it. And so they're sending one to Mrs. Wright and one to me. Now this one technically is Mrs. Wright's bike <laughs> because it was mentioned this is for your wife. Well thank you so much to them. We'll see it when it comes through and then uh, but in advance, if they're watching any of these uh, advanced videos, thank you so much for doing that. I'm sure she'll be happy with what uh, comes through. Unless it's a terrible bike. <laughs> I seriously doubt it will be a terrible bike. As you guys know, 
Um, I usually only accept certain bikes, and uh, if I think there's some merit to it, then I'll accept them. So. All right, what else is going on? Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Not a whole lot else has really been happening in the last day that I talked to you on the video. You know, by the time you guys see it, uh, that video would have come out on Thursday. This one's coming out on Saturday. So today, being Wednesday, as I'm recording this, I have a, an appointment with my um, diabetic uh, educator. She's going to take the final readings off of my uh, uh, blood glucose monitor that's on my arm. And, um, and uh, we'll see how the, the levels spiked or didn't spike. Now this time around, well, I'll tell you more about it on Monday, but that's, that's where I'm heading on uh, tomorrow. So I'm heading for her to do that. It's a car behind me, but I gotta move over because of parked cars. So anyway, that's really all that's happening. I, uh, I really have nothing else to say. <laughs> Which is a rarity for us, right? It's a rarity for me to have nothing to say. But anyway, that's all I have to say. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Let me know what you thought of the, the constant stopping. If that's okay with you, put a comment. If it's not okay with you, let me know prefer that I stop at every stop sign I'm sure there will be those who will tell me to do that uh, but as you know I'm not gonna do that <laughs> yeah I think the guy said that uh, you pick and choose which officers you talk about because he's in favor of what you do okay well uh, next time I, I get stopped and actually get the ticket I'll tell you about that too but so far I've never gotten a ticket <laughs> All right, enough of this stop stuff. It's driving me nuts. Talk to you guys next time.